Chat, I have to ask you an important question. Is my wife going to get the ick if I keep ordering salads at restaurants and she keeps ordering, like, steaks? Is that enough to give your wife the ick? It is? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to get coronary heart disease to maintain the dynamic in my relationship. That's uber ick? She's already got it? Could have fooled me. Telling you he thought that you were lying about your trauma for attention from him? That's gross. That guy is icky. Note to, I'm adding it to my how not to give my wife the ick post. Or uh, my, my notes app. Don't gaslight her into thinking she's pretending to have trauma for attention. That'll be under... It'll be item number 935. One item above it is leaving my seatbelt buckled on the airplane after the sign turns off that allows you to take your seatbelt off. One above that is uh, slipping on my shoes instead of untying the laces and then putting my feet into the shoes and then tying them back up. Right above that is um, drinking a soda by turning the aluminum tab so that the, the holes line up and then you can put the straw into that and then sipping on the Diet Coke like this, like Cindy Crawford in a, in a commercial. There's a few. Bringing my own cheese slice to a restaurant. <laughs> Keep cooking, he's on a roll. Men be like, I love Toy Story. It's true, my daughter was watching Toy Story 2 last night while my wife was cooking some spaghetti. How did we get blown out this hard? I thought our team was half decent. <laughs> And when, uh, when Somebody Loved Me came on, my wife knew that if she didn't do anything, it was going to make me cry. So she just sang pizza, pasta, put it in a box, bring it to me, put it on my dot, da 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 And I didn't cry. But I thought about it because I could still hear the song. Sarah McLaughlin in the background. Lonely and forgotten. Toy Story gives me the ick. Honestly, no disrespect to women. You're all, you're all queens as far as I'm concerned. Except um, Mussolini's granddaughter. I'm trying, there's probably a couple more. Marie Le Pen. I don't know. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Ava Braun. Yeah, okay. Um, Margaret Thatcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm done trying to avoid the ick. I'm 34 years old. I, at this point in my life, I am what I am. I'm not going to spend the next potentially 50 years of my life and, and marriage trying to avoid the ick. Then I'll just die and be like, well, mission accomplished. Like what? It, if you're going to get the ick, that's fine. We're not compatible then. I mean, with my wife, if she didn't get the ick from me walking on my toes, like she's unickable at this point, I hope. I'm trying pretty hard, crying every time Toy Story 2 comes on, though. The ick is a gut turn off to something that someone does. Yes, I, I can't pretend... Stop this. I can't pretend to know what the ick feels like, because apparently it's illegal for men to get it. The, what, I, what I always feel like the ick must feel like is when you meet someone uh, and they tell you the worst joke of all time. That's what gives me the ick is when like you're, you're hanging out with your friend's friend and they're like, check this one out. And then they tell you a one out of 10 joke and you have to go like, uh -huh. or, or if somebody says, hey, you have to listen to this song. It's my favorite song. And then it's just like Ellie Goulding or something like that, or <laughs> Megan Trainer. <laughs> If somebody says, like, this song makes me cry every time and it's, you know, I will remember you. Do, 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 do. Like, that, that is, she did nothing wrong. What does Ellie Goulding sing? Does she sing? I'm thinking of that song that goes, you, It cuts me open and I keep breathing, keep, keep breathing. And I. That's Leona Lewis. Okay. My personal opinion, Leona Lewis, that, that would give me the ick. Can I tell you, and this is, she's a perfectly nice lady. I was dating a lady 13 years ago, 
and she gave me the ick. You know what the ick was? She said, let's watch a movie. I'm bringing over my favorite movie. And you know what movie she brought over? You'll never guess. She brought over Vegas Vacation on DVD. Wasn't vacation, European vacation, Christmas vacation. She brought over Vegas Vacation and said, this is my favorite movie. That's a good movie? It's not, but that's fine. But your favorite movie? Like that just, and it's, it's completely fine for that to be your favorite movie, but it means that we're incompatible on media. I'm, I did, listen, I'm, I got nothing against the comedy, but for something to be my favorite movie, it has to like emotionally move me. That's not happening in Vegas Vacation, okay? If she said it's my favorite comedy, I would have been like, okay, I disagree, but that's fine. But favorite, it's the, I respect cinema as an art form. Man, and you're gonna come to me? That's like saying like your favorite painting is like a Pokemon card. No disrespect. If you were like, oh yeah, you really like like Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring? Check out this. It's a damn uh <laughs> What's the what's the the lightning cat? Not Pikachu. Luxray. Yeah, check it out. This is Luxray. The Shining Fates Luxray Hollow card goes really hard. Like, I think it's honestly on par with some of Da Vinci's best work. Now, here's the thing. I don't know anything about painting. If someone came to me and said my favorite painting was a Pokemon card, I'd be like, based, because I don't know. Any, I don't put any value on that. But I put some value on cinema because it's easier for a Luddite to me to understand the artistic merit of it. So when you come to me and say my favorite movie of all time is Vegas Vacation, it gives me a little bit of the ick. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means what one person's ick might be another person's yum. I hope that eventually she found someone where they were like, oh my God, that's my favorite movie too. And then they are living happily ever after with one another, raising kids who just have absolutely horrendous media diets but are otherwise productive and valuable members of society, okay? What's your favorite movie? I'm not answering the question because I've put myself in a position where it's too easily assailable. I'm not going to answer the question. You'll have to ask me like three months from now. Better question is, what movie did you bring to the date? I didn't bring any movies to the date. Two movies on a single date? Are you crazy? You watch one showing of Vegas Vacation, and then you wait for Saturday Night Live to come on. And then you watch that all the way through to 1 a.m. Then you go to sleep.